I'm Maxine Graham from Kalamazoo, Michigan. I attended Hope College and graduated in 2004 with a major in communication and a minor in sociology. And I currently work for Starbucks Coffee Company in Seattle, Washington. Uh, I work at Starbucks in the global staffing organization where I am a project manager on the global employer brand and channels team. And so I represent all the work that we do to really talk, talk about our story and attract talent across the globe. I arrived at Hope, I took some political science courses, and then I realized that I wasn't really passionate about it. And so through the liberal arts curriculum, I was able to take some communication courses and I felt like it was definitely it once I took the first course. When I meet someone in Seattle who has never heard of Hope College and I let them know that I attend at Hope, I share with them a little bit about the school, including the fact that it's a small private liberal arts college that's focused on faith as a foundation and it's a school where you really can grow through the curriculum and you can also grow professionally. Great opportunities to connect and to travel abroad and, and study and learn more about the world. Um, rich academic environment where professors give individual personalized attention um, and really a world-class education that is known um, beyond Highland, Michigan. I hope education uniquely prepares today's students through not giving the answers and I tell people that college is not necessarily about getting straight A's or um, you know doing the best on every paper but it's through the experience that you have you know it's experiential education and how those courses and those students who you go to class with and those professors, how they really challenge you to think about the world. And so you really have to figure out how to use your voice, how to be a problem solver, how to be a big thinker, um, and how to do a lot with little resources. And most companies and organizations are doing more with less. Service and leadership are two things that are really important to me uh, as an individual and as a leader. And Hope College has really helped shape my perspective on service and leadership because of this notion of servant leadership. And while it wasn't a popular term when I was a student um, back in the early 2000s, I definitely saw it manifested throughout my relationships with faculty as well as staff. And it was this notion that it was more than just being a thought leader in your field of expertise or as a student getting the best grades. It was more about how are you serving the community through your work and what is really meaningful and significant to what you're doing each and every day. My name is Matt Skogan. I'm a 2002 graduate of Hope College. I studied political science and economics, double major at Hope College. At NYSE Euronext, I'm the senior vice president and chief of staff to the CEO. And in that capacity, I'm a strategic advisor to the CEO. I'm a member of the executive team. I also oversee our Office of Global Affairs, and I also oversee the company's corporate philanthropy. There's a quote that I love from Eric Erickson, who was a developmental psychologist, and he says that the real midlife crisis starts in your mid-twenties when you realize you're down a path that just isn't you. And so I think what you need to do while you're at Hope is really figure out what you want to do, really figure out what you're passionate about. And Hope gives you a unique chance to explore lots of things. Because it's liberal arts, you've got an opportunity to explore top-notch academic programs in a whole variety of, of areas. And so I think you ought to take advantage of that and take advantage of of internship programs, semesters abroad, semesters in other places, and experiment and try things and decide what you like and what you don't like. And figuring out what you don't like is probably just as important as knowing what you like. Right now I'm working in the financial world and I know that world pretty well. I have a decent amount of expertise in it. But the fact that I'm a decent writer and the fact that I'm a decent communicator and that I know about the political system and that I've taken courses in history and in religion, that stuff is only gonna help me and it's only gonna propel my career further than if I didn't have that background. And I really think that in future generations, future leaders will need to be more well-rounded people. They'll need to be more collaborative people, people who can move across disciplines and move across sectors rather than being specifically focused on one particular expertise. The other thing that Hope did for me is it's not just about liberal arts. To me it was about the faith component and it was about reminding me that we're serving a greater purpose. What Hope taught me is that I do not define my success by career achievements. I define my success by impact I can have on the world and that's unique. I can't believe it's been 12 years since I was here because it, it doesn't, it feels like yesterday, and being back on campus, it just feels like home. And 
Uh, you know, to me, it's about values, it's about being a, a nuanced person in a nuanced world, but remembering that I'm serving a cause greater than myself. And those things have stuck with me for the last 12 years, and they will stick with me for the rest of my life. And I'm confident of that, and I know that. And it's, it's, it's remarkable to me when I look back on my four years here and realize now how instrumental and how impactful those four years were on the rest of my life. And I don't think you realize it when you're here, but the further you get away from it, um, I think then you start to realize, wow, that really impacted me and that really uh, helped not only equip me to be successful professionally, but to define how I, how I want to be successful, to define how I want to have an impact on the world. And, um, and when I think about hope, that's what I think about.